guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Name by Goo Goo Dolls. Let's make everybody cry and have some fun. Okay, to kick this thing off, we've got to get ourselves into a very different tuning. Like many Goo Goo Dolls hits, they are in a very different tuning than what you will probably ever play again. So right away, you could take your E string, your sixth string, tune that down to a D. That's down a whole step, that's two frets. Take your A string, don't touch it. Keep that A string there. For your D string, bring that up to an E, that's up a whole step. For your G string, bring that up to an A, that again is a whole step. For your B, we're really gonna take this one for a ride. I want you to tune that all the way up to the note of E. Okay, and then we're gonna take our high E string and leave it. It's also gonna be an E. And it'll sound like this when you play it open. So this song is divided into two main sections only. So it's a verse and a chorus. Let's go ahead and cover the verse. I'm gonna play it for you first, and I'm gonna break down exactly what I just did. So here's what I did. I started with my 7th fret E string, played that, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's my rhythm for this song, so I'm going to give it one of those. That's considered a measure, so here it is. One measure. I'm going to start with my first strum, and that measure on my 7th fret, making sure I'm hitting that note. So here it is. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Moving that down to the 6th fret. Down, down, up. I move over to the A string, 5th fret, down, down, up, up, down, up, get one full measure. Then I'm putting my middle finger on the 4th fret of the E string, putting my ring finger on the 4th fret of the A string. I'm going to do a half a measure on this. I'm going to go down, down, up. I'm going to slide that on down to the 2nd fret, do the same exact thing, down, down, up, essentially completing one whole measure that way. we got two halves, right? Down, down, up, down, down, up. So, so far you got this, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so that right there is the main part. Here's the trickiest part of the verse. Um, we're going to do, for the first time we run through that right there, those chords, we're going to do this riff. It's going to start with our ring finger on the A string, 7th fret, middle finger here on the D string, 5th fret. Okay, so that's our shape. Everything else is open. So open tuning is always called for these funny little chords like this. So here it is. We're gonna go, we're gonna drone our now D string, but it's our sixth string, right? So we're gonna boom, we're gonna hit everything, and we're gonna slide it up a whole step. So we're now we're, we end up on the ninth fret with our ring finger A string, and on the D string, we're on the seventh fret with our index finger. So it's that. So, Right? Okay, so. And then our next move is to hit that and to do a hammer on with our pinky on the D string, ninth fret. So make sure you get that move. So, so far we have this drone, slide, hit it again and hammer on with your pinky on the D string on that shape. And then we're gonna take that again, hit it again slide it all the way up to our 12th fret. So we're taking our ring finger on the A string 9th fret, pinky finger on the D string 9th fret, and we're going to slide that little shape up to the 12th fret here now. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Okay, so once I hit that slide, then I go into a full measure. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Completing kind of the first half of our verse phrase. So again, I'm going to do it slow for you. Ooh, let me try that again. So after we do that, we're going to go into another little section of complexity here. It's going to start the same way. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you slow first, and I'm going to break down what I did. So here it is. So 
here's what's going on. Starting with my same shape that I did before, I'm going to play the madrone, that little that low D again, right? Do that once and then slide this up just like we did before. I'm going to hit it again and do that hammer on again with my pinky finger on the D string, ninth fret. Hit it one more time and then again, this time I'm doing a pull off. Down, up. Up, down, up. So the next section is the chorus, and it's much easier. We're going to start with our middle finger on the 4th fret E string. In this case, it's a D. It's our 6th string. And then we're going to put our ring finger here on the 4th fret of our A string. So that'll be our first chord. Our second chord will be sliding that thing down to the 2nd fret. And then our last and final chord will be just playing it open, which is really nice and easy, right? So here's what the chorus sounds like. So to break that down really quick, I'm just doing that shape here, 4th fret, and being covered on my 6th and 5th strings. Down, down, up, up, down, up, doing one measure on that. I'm going to do a measure on the 2nd fret of our 6th uh, string, 2nd fret of our 5th string. Doing a one full measure, and then playing nothing for 2 measures. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we'll do that four times for the chorus. However, on that fourth time, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing this, just as normal, to the second fret, and as soon as I get to my open chord here, literally open string chord, I'm going to strum it just once, and that's when he says, I won't tell him your name. And as soon as he says the word name, he's back into his verse. Name. Right? And then zoom onwards, making everybody weep. All right, that's the whole song. All right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and then check out the links down below. Check out my website. Say hi. All right, bye, guys.